Yes, and, and uh, thank you, Faye, for your question. You can see already that timeouts don't make any long-term difference at all. The reason is very simple. When you put your child in timeout, your child is not sitting alone in their room thinking, hmm, I understand, mum was right. I can see the error of my ways. Okay, they don't learn anything. The only thing that happens in solitary detention, solitary confinement, is I feel, you know, the world is mad at me. I'm ashamed of who I am and I'm angry and I'm lonely and I'm bored and I just can't wait to go out, come out again. And I have no power. The world made me powerless. That's the only th sort of stuff that is going through a child's mind in a timeout. Um, so people make the mistake of thinking that it's effective because, you know, if I threaten you and lock you up in a room and if, I, if, if I'm a lot more stronger than you, yes, that will change your behavior. That doesn't mean it changed your attitude at all. Not one single bit. And I don't want parents to suffer the great disappointment that when you think you stop a behavior, but the attitude underneath did not change, you will pay for that the following day. The behavior will come back in a different way. And nothing has changed. In fact, things got worse. It doesn't serve you. It's, a, it's one of these very short-term uh, methods that often make things worse uh, and get you no long-term bit at all. And when we get very frustrated as parents and, you know, we need the time out. That's a loving thing to do for ourselves. Maybe even, you know what, I'll, I'll go to the bathroom and close the door because I need a moment alone to breathe because my children are just too much for me. My children are fighting and they're yelling and whatever it is. Um, that happens a lot when you're a parent, when you don't have the support of grandparents with you or a, a, a village. It's too hard. Um, and the difficulty that Faye is experiencing that sometimes she is so busy, she can't find a moment. Uh, that's very, very, very hard, Faye. Please understand that your child is not the problem. The pressures of your life is the problem. That creates a snowballing effect because when as parents, life is stressing, 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 demanding too much. We work, 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 and no play, no play, no play. Our children react to our stress and they become more difficult because they can feel that we're in a state of anxiety and unhappiness and that makes them very unsettled and then their behavior gets all mucked up one thing that you can do that will help to take pressure away from you because sometimes look i would i would like to say to everybody you're working too hard work four days not five days a week or not six or work a shorter day. I wish I could say that to people. You know, especially when you've got little children, work much less, make less money. I know, that's not realistic, is it? I just wish I could say that. That's what you, that's what parents should have because it's so consuming to have children. So because reality is as it is, it helps you to know that when you've got under great pressure fighting against your children will make everything worse please do not misunderstand me i'm not saying say yes to whatever they want i'm not in favor with toddlers and children of just permissiveness you want chocolate have more chocolate you want lollies have more lollies you want, uh, that's not good i'm not i'll never say that i want parents to have very strong boundaries but to really listen to the emotions of the child. When you do more than listen, but you validate the child, 
you know, if your child is frustrated, to sit with them and say, hey, it's okay to be angry. Tell me why you're angry. What made you angry? Oh, okay. I understand why you're angry. Or if a child is sad, oh, you know, I can see how sad you are. What happened? What made you so sad? What would you like from me? Would you like a hug? Or if you, if the child is scared, well, gee, I don't like you being scared, but if you are scared, please tell me why are you so scared? What are you scared of? What, how can I help you? And when your children feel validated, even if you don't accept the behavior, but you accept their emotion, they settle down, they settle down. And the same is true for you. You settle down when you, somebody accepts your emotions, you settle down too. That saves you hours of hard work. That saves you hundreds and hundreds of hours of hard work. The children that can trust that you will validate their emotions will behave much, much, much better. They still have their outbursts, but they, they not so often because they know that mum and dad, family, are there to understand them. Validation is a very powerful tool and that will remove stress. Not all of it, it will remove a lot of stress that you don't need.